Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about competing in martial arts uh, and in particular the sports psychology side of it and even more specifically fear of competing uh, and what to do about it. So, you know, it's very normal, especially for those who are new to competing, to to wonder how they're meant to deal with the fear that's associated and comes with it and all the anxiety that builds up uh, and comes with it. The first thing to recognize is that it's completely normal. And if you speak to any fighter at any level of the game, they will all tell you that they all experience very similar feelings. They all feel this sense of fear. They all feel a sense of anxiety. Uh, and it's not about it going away or trying to remove it. It's just learning how to cope and it's learning how to use it and be more effective with it rather than allowing it to cripple you uh, as so many people do. So uh, to start with, uh, I'll share some personal experience on it. I remember my first international tournament. It was in Belgium. Uh, it was a very small division. There wasn't many of us in it. And when I watched the fights that were before mine, I was confident that I had it. I just looked at these guys and I thought, I'm better than all of you. I, I know I've, I've just technically, uh, and this wasn't me you know, being big headed or anything. I just could see that I knew I fought better people than you back home and I've won uh, and I'm going to win here. And I completely broke down. We're talking complete and utter meltdown. I can't even remember if I threw a punch or threw a technique the entire fight. Uh, it was just a complete, complete no-show on my part. I got destroyed. First round, I was out uh, and that was it. And, you know, this happened a lot, especially when you stepped up a level in competition. So, uh, and again, it's all about adapting. So when you first start to compete, all these new emotions and new feelings, they're going to be very intense and you're not going to have experienced them before and you're not really going to know how to process them or how to deal with them. And that's normal. The more you do it, the more you attend these competitions, the more kind of regular it becomes, the more you learn to manage uh, and work and use these feelings to get you focused and get you in the zone and put you into the right place. And then you'll step up, maybe you go up a weight category, maybe you step up from beginners to advanced, maybe you attend a larger tournament, and you're going to feel all those feelings come back. Maybe you took some time out from competing and then you come back to it again. You're going to feel all that same stuff come back. So first thing is just recognize that it's normal. Uh, you're not a wuss, you're not uh, a weakling for feeling that way. The, the biggest, hardest guys I know, they've all felt the same, same for the ladies. It's, it's completely normal. Second thing is to understand that it's not going to go away. So you're, it's never going to be a case of you're going to step on the mats and just feel absolutely fine. You know, you're, there, there will always be something there. There will always be feelings. And that's a good thing. It means you care. If you know, it means you care about the outcome. It means you want to win. It means you, you're going in there with a competitive energy. And that's the way to approach it. Uh, in terms of strategy for, for coping with it better and getting a, a grip on it, I think the thing that helped me most and the thing that I try to remind my guys when I see them getting overly worked up is to keep things in perspective and to always look at the larger picture of things. So, and this isn't to put down what we do in any way. I'm very proud of our sport. I'm very proud of martial arts. But let's just take a reality check of it in terms of the scope of your life. If you're attending a national tournament, that's held in a sports center somewhere in Birmingham on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Is it the end of the world if you go out there and you lose? Even if you just get completely destroyed? Is it the end of the world? Not really. Like, tomorrow, it's not going to matter anymore. And I don't want you to go in there like that because I want you to be like, meh, who cares? But I want you to understand that that anxiety and all the things that you're allowing to build up, you, you've got to keep it, you've got to keep things in perspective. You've got to look at the bigger picture of it, that there will be another tournament in a few weeks. You'll get another opportunity. So if you don't perform at your best on this occasion, there'll be another occasion 
to perform. No one is going to think less of you because of your performance. I've been knocked out in fights. I've lost uh, clear you know, decisions in fights. I've had embarrassing moments in fights. No one judges you for these things. We might have a laugh at your expense in the moment. You might become a running joke for a few weeks. But we all move on and anyone who's actually in the game with you will have their own personal selection of stories about things that have happened to them, moments wherever it's gone wrong. If anything, as a team, these moments build you up and make you stronger. Now, all of this is is still coming from it from a kind of almost negative perspective of, you know, thinking about losing. Really, what our focus should be on is what do we have to do to perform our best and to get the result that we want? The biggest thing you can do to ensure the result that you want actually comes long before the event. It comes down to the training that you put in. Nothing will give you more confidence on those mats, uh, in that ring, on the tatami, whatever your chosen venue is, than knowing that you've put in maximum effort in your training. You've put in as many hours as you can, and during those hours, you put in 100% effort, and you were focused, and you trained with intention. That is what's going to give you the confidence, knowing that you've got the cardio, knowing that you've drilled the techniques, that you've, you've worked the strategy. These are the things that when you then step on that mat and you're faced against that opponent, they're going to be what carries you through. And they're also going to be the, the truly determining factor of whether you win or you lose or you perform well or you don't. So don't obsess too much about you know, what you do on the day. Focus more on making sure that you've done everything in your power to prepare in the run-up to the event. Taking into consideration that, and this is going to be the case for a lot of you, it's a part-time gig. You're doing this in your extra time on the weekend. You're training maybe once or twice a week when you get the opportunity. Uh, and that's a great thing to do. But but you don't need to put the pressure of your entire life on it. Unless you are a prize fighter and this is how you are feeding your family, then remove some of the pressure of the situation from yourself. Allow yourself room to breathe uh, and just believe in what you do. Regardless of the result, your team will still be there afterwards. Your family will still love you afterwards. And there is always another opportunity to go out there and compete. So the biggest thing is just go out and enjoy it. Go out and enjoy it. Try your best. Try to get the win. Go in there for gold. And then whatever else happens is just going to be part of your martial arts journey. Whether you win, whether you lose, it's it's all happens for a reason. And when you look back on it in five years time, if you even remember, and this is the other thing, the amount of tournaments I've attended, I couldn't tell you a damn thing about them anymore because I don't remember anymore because it's been so far long ago. And this is going to be the same case for you. If you keep on doing it and you keep competing, this will be a little drop in the bucket. Right now, it feels like the biggest thing in the world. But in the grand scheme, it's going to be a small drop in the bucket. And all of it is going to be a positive growth experience for you. So good luck to all of you, whoever's competing next, wherever you're competing at. Uh, give it your best shot. Do your best and uh, look forward to the next one.